People have been asking me recently how to create a slideshow and have titles on the slides. Uh, some people know how to make a slideshow when they're using iPhoto, but they don't necessarily know how to do it with iMovie. iMovie lets you add titles and all that sort of great stuff, so we're going to look at that today. Here we have iMovie, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start a new project by pushing this plus button right here, and I'm just going to call it Slideshow. Uh, now you have a choice of different themes you can use for your slideshow here. Uh, this is a photo album theme, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. Now you could choose no theme as well, and I'm going to say create, and it's going to create my project area here. I'm going to go ahead and get some photos from iPhoto. I've already loaded them into iPhoto, and now all I have to do is click on the little camera here, and I'll just choose a few here, and I'll start dragging them up. One, two. So now I've already created a slideshow that has a few titles. We have one at the start and one at the end. So I'm going to click here on the start one where it says slideshow and I'm going to just give it a title. I'm going to click on the one at the end and it says directed by, I'm going to put my name. and then I'm going to go through and add titles to different other parts of our slideshow. So let's go ahead and add a title here. If you go down and click on the T for title, you get a few different choices here. I'm going to choose, uh, let's see, you get a preview here of what it's going to look like. I'm going to choose the clouds. I like this one. Uh, now you can see I dragged it up and when I hold it on top of the photo, it goes blue. That means the title is going to be there for the whole duration of the picture. If I want it to just be at the start or just at the end, I hold it near the start or the end of the photo and you can see how that blue shape changes. But I'm going to keep it on for the whole slide. So I'm going to drop it here and uh, right away the speech bubble appears. That shows that there's a title. I click it and now I can just edit it. This is a picture in the computer lab so I'll just write computer lab and I'm going to say done. And now I have a title. Uh, I'm going to add one more title. There are, uh, let's see, choose this one, throw it on there. And this was Spirit Day. I'm going to say done. And now I have a title on these two slides. So let's take a watch the slideshow quickly here. Hmm. Now we can add music by pushing on the musical note and it lets you either select a song from your iTunes library or there are different uh, built-in songs that Apple provides. So here we can just choose anything. There are different sound effects as well as songs. I'm just going to pick up a song and drop it up here. And now if I push play. So we've looked at how to add titles and music. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to change the cropping and panning on a photo. I'm going to click on this photo right here because it's a tall photo, as you can see. Uh, I can change the starting and ending position of the movement as it pans across the photo. If I go ahead and push this crop button, or double click it rather, I can choose the green box is a start position and uh, the red box is an ending position. So I'm going to just move them. You can change their size as well as their position. I'm going to say done. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to choose the photo to start over here and end over here. And I'm going to say done. And now let's uh, look at the results here. You can see it's panning up as she climbs the wall and it's panning across the whole group of people.